Max here. So, yesterday was a great day. Uh, there was tons of stuff happening at the conference. Met tons of really cool people. Everyone was super smart, so I felt really outclassed. And at the end of the day, I came home just drained in terms of my intellectual capabilities. But uh, looking forward to the challenge today. Today is day three of the conference in terms of highlights. Uh, there were quite a few amazing talks on AI and I'm going to be blogging about them. So one of them was on Swarm technology and I thought that was, that was an amazing keynote. Another one was, uh, actually there were other three on uh, different types of cognition in animal world and uh, whether animals do suffer and where do you draw a line for example. Uh, say for example octopus is protected by some sort of an international body of protection. Uh, for animals and then crabs and lobsters are not protected in the same way so that you cannot boil the octopus alive but you can do that to a crab and then the, the question is why and that's apparently because octopuses feel more pain or they feel pain in a more intense way and it's just really complicated and it's amazing to see that people are actually thinking about this stuff oh yesterday also in the end um, there was this debate in Cambridge debate room well room hall and uh, it was really cool. It's like really old, smells kind of old furniture. Uh, just now I ran into my friend from law school. Really cool guy and I think we're gonna go catch a coffee tomorrow. And uh, I might also meet someone else I know who is a tutor here uh, in intellectual property law. So I might meet him today or tomorrow. Uh, tonight I'm not making it for the debate unfortunately because I'm meeting my girlfriend back in London, so I'd have to cut it a bit short today. But I'm looking forward to some talks. Also, Joanna Bryson is having her keynote today, so I am gonna enjoy it immensely. She, she was asking such amazing questions yesterday. For every speaker, pretty much, she had, you know, some really cool points and some really super useful clarifications that I feel like everyone kind of wanted to ask but couldn't quite articulate but of course she can always so a uh, huge props to her anyways I'm gonna rush to the event I'm sweating already but catch you guys later ciao hi everyone so day two at the conference went really well some really cool talks today now my mind is just blank for some reason I can't really remember anything that was going on uh, so the first thing is a super exciting thing and uh, I think I'm interviewing Joanna Bryson tomorrow for Max Talks AI podcast. I don't want to jinx it, but she preliminary said that it's okay. And then in the break between the talks, uh, hopefully I'm going to record an, a new episode. Uh, so super pumped for that. And I mean, I, I told her that it's okay if something comes up, some emergency or something. It's, it's, it's you know, or even not emergency if she just doesn't feel like it, it's okay. And we can reschedule and stuff like that. Um, so that's exciting. So I invited some other speakers uh, I met at the conference to be on my podcast. So on the train now, I'm going to send a bunch of emails uh, specifying the details and specifying the, my audience and stuff like that. And then trying to schedule uh, those episodes. It's just a lot of definitional issues what I'm seeing. You know, we're talking about writers of mind. We're talking about the definition of consciousness, definition of mind. Those are not just vague. They are very multidimensional. And, uh, and just multi-layered terms that you can use in different sets of circumstances in a different way. This would not mean that one person has, you know, uses a word in the right way and then another one doesn't. So, for example, definition of intelligence. You know, I asked Joanna Bryson why does she say that uh, plants are intelligent? Because I couldn't break it down to my sister yesterday. I said, oh, at this conference, someone said that plants are intelligent. She's like, why? I'm like, well, they grow and, um, and um, stuff like that. But it's the definition of intelligence can be, you know, your reaction to environment, your dialogue with environment, for example. And then the, the plants would qualify. Also, I got to talk about intellectual property uh, with a lady that was working with Lionel Bentley, who is kind of a, a really established and respected person in IP. I think I'm gonna head to the station now. currently 
two, three, four. Um, I'm probably gonna skip the first talk tomorrow because then I would just wouldn't just get enough sleep. I'm I'm gonna sleep at the conference. Uh, was doing my blog post. Was figuring out how to compress videos uh, and stuff like that. I'm really sleepy. I wanted to film more today, but just unfortunately didn't happen. Well, thanks for watching. Bye.